Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Um, doing a little bit of a different style video today. Um, normally I'm just doing customs or showing off some recent finds. Today, um, along with seeing the face of Mikey, um, the face of Good Data Diecast, um, I've got a couple of mail calls. Um, one of them is going to be um, an unboxing for my very first um, premium 164 purchase. Um, it is a Kaido house. I've never bought a Kaido house before. And thanks to my good buddy Derek over at Honest Diecast, um, he's got me looking more at the premium 164 stuff so i decided to to take a step out away from hot wheels and uh, the cheaper stuff and i picked up a kaido house um the other thing is a mail call from derek at honest diecast um there are at least three things in this box um, i only know what two of them are he has assured me that uh, anything beyond those two things uh, is gonna blow my mind so um without further ado i won't keep everybody waiting too long and uh, we'll get right into it um i as i mentioned this is the first time that i have ever purchased something premium 164 um at least on this scale like a non-super um like 20 ish dollar scale um i i did buy a a tarmac works um sylvia um as i was saying the uh i bought the tarmac sylvia um while it was nice and it is 164 scale um I don't know. I feel like I feel like this Kaido is probably gonna probably gonna blow that Sylvia out of the water. So up here. get that out of the way. Down there. And it looks like I'm gonna still need my knife. Um, as you have seen with my trunk videos, um, been just trying to kind of go through a lot of my older stuff um, in consolidation, really. Um, I've got a lot of stuff that's piling up and a lot of older stuff that I don't need anymore. There's that GTR Kaido House Mini GT, and it is the R33 because Lord knows Nike doesn't like R34s. I'm not an R34 guy, I get it, I get it, but the only R34 that I like is Brian's 34 from. Too fast, too furious. And even then, I'm pretty sure I just like the paint scheme. Dash. Probably shouldn't need this. Alright. Oh. Still gonna need it. Still gonna need it. Um, the box is definitely a lot nicer than that Tarmax. Um, I'm not sure what kind of case, if anything, this will come in. Car culture for all scales. Very nice box. Got the sort of carbon fiber look on the ends. And it does not appear to have a similar case as the tire rack. Look at that. On the i5, 
microphone, so sorry for the focus. Um, this is the blue version. Um, I know there was a blue one and a purple one. Um, I think there was even a chase. Um, I think there's a chase in almost all of these. Um, but yeah, this is the blue version. Um, it almost has like a, like a blurple color. I'm trying to get that to focus and I don't know that it will. It's got the, uh, got the carbon on the center part of the hood there. And on the spoiler there. The hood should open, and it does. Let's see if I can get a better look on camera. Nope. Definitely has some pretty good detail. I wish that picked it up better. Sorry, guys. Rolls for sure. I love the base. Absolutely love the base. That that like chrome. What do they call it? Like that chromey, uh, chromium sort of uh, oil slick effect on the base. I mean, it's probably it's like a gold, but then they they cover it or overlay it with that that material or whatever that makes it that oil slick. I love that. That's that's a big seller for me. And the Kaidos, um, and even like the stretch tires, front and back, fantastic. The detail is phenomenal. I almost need the light for me so that I can see. Mini GT, Kaido R33. Looks like it's got a carbon overlay on the rear deck and the dash. Racing seats, no cage. The mirrors are very rubber-like. I don't know if that's a Kaido thing or just this model. It's very interesting. This is my first one, so if you know and you're like, oh, they're all like that. Well, like I said, this is my first one, so I'm just learning. Um, carbon on the lip. I don't know if I can get this to focus well enough to see. Probably not. Probably not. But yeah, the same the same sort of carbon overlay that's on the uh, on the um, hood and the spoiler is also on the front dash and the rear the rear deck. Um, so for those of you looking at one of these or for one of these later, you'll, you'll definitely notice that detail. Um, very cool. Very cool. That's nice. That rolls really nice. That is, that is a great piece. That is fantastic. And it's a 33. God. I just love this car. I love the 33s. Got the wide body too. Look at that. The tuck. Look at the tuck. Oh, you're picking up the fuzzies. Oh, you're picking up the fuzzies. Look at the tuck. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Now, not only am I getting into the Premium 164, I now have to find a display case for this. So, thank you, Derek, for introducing me into a more expensive hobby. No, it's nothing but love. He's he's uh, He's been sort of the only person we can live vicarious through. Um, on to, and again, that box, man. Great box, Mini GT. I 
I do like the, I kind of like that, the, like the, the GTR on one end, Kaido House on the other, and then when you open it, just, you've got the, the skyline. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, definitely a great piece, like I said. Um, I gotta find a display case for that. So, moving on to this, um, I'm, I'm excited and I'm terrified of what is in this box. Um, Derek has been, uh, borderline screaming at me to open this box. Um, I had gotten, I've had that Kaido for like two weeks. I've had it for a minute. Um, and I was, I was kind of hanging out because Derek was doing, he had a giveaway coming up and I wanted to see if I was going to going to win anything on the giveaway um so i kind of hung out and i waited and then he had so many people win on the giveaway um or he had so many boxes rather that he wasn't sure how quick or how slow it was going to be to get stuff out so i told him you know let me know when you ship mine out you know obviously no rush on it but that way i was either going to do just the unboxing for the kaido house or if i was going to do a combo video like this um so it worked out and one of mine my box was one of the first ones that he shipped out first so um i get to do a combo video good pack job i see well i do see three things in this box i know what that is i know what that is and i don't know what that is so we'll kind of keep that hidden as best as we can make sure there's nothing scary in this box nothing scary in this box notes stickers no stickers but that's fine that's fine <laughs> everybody gets a sticker that's the thing if you got a channel you got a sticker everybody knows that um, what are we going to do first? Let's do, let's do the thing I knew I was getting first. Um, this is my winnings from Derek's 12k giveaway. Um, for all, uh, by all means, um, help me out. Drop a like, comment. Tell your friends about me. I know I don't post much. I know, um, you know, it's it's rough because Lord knows hunting videos. There's nothing to find around here, um, and nobody wants to watch people not find anything. And um, I haven't done much customizing lately either. I've got a custom that I started uh, over a year ago, and it's still in raw form. I haven't even polished it yet. Um, so, ooh. but yes, um, like, subscribe, comment on my channel, um, Derek at Honest Diecast, check out his channel, um, he's a way funner channel than, than mine is, um, this is what I won from his 12k giveaway, um, it is an NL64997 Liberty Walk, um, Porsche, there it is. This thing is beautiful. Um, I was, I, I was, I still am, um, an Audi guy. Um, I never owned one. I'm, I'm a, a, a Honda guy by heart through and through. Um, I just, I've always kind of had an eye for Audis. I like the way they look. Um, they're just, they're a good brand. I like them a lot. Um, but I've kind of gotten into Porsches about the time that I found Derek's channel. Um, I kind of started getting more into Porsches and he's also into Porsches. So um, of course the majority of what he's into or some of his giveaways are all gonna be Porsches. I think the majority, probably the majority of his collection of uh, 164 premium are Porsches. Um, good Lord, that thing is beautiful. This, Slips out of there, and it loses the cool background. But, but I think it comes with it, and I could probably still 
attach that to that somehow and manage to probably keep that cool background. But there it is. Get a good look around that. So I guess I could take it out of the case, A. Eh? We'll do that. This is, uh, these are nice. This is nice. This is nice. My turn. Good detail. Good color. I like the, I like the color. I like the, uh, I like the livery. No tow hooks on this one. Derek's uh, shown off a number of, uh, like not F1, but like I guess IMSA would be a good, a good whatever. Um, just racing inspired castings, and they've always got tow hooks on them. And just the the attention to detail. I mean, some of this stuff is you know is high quality detail, um, high quality paint. You know, the liveries that kind of stuff. That's what you're paying for. But when it's when it's details like the tow hooks and the little like antennas and um what is it on there was a i think it's a pagani or there's something that has a, a an exhaust detail on the back end and oh lord to see the the level of detail and the amount of detail i know the focus is 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 not there But trust me, that detail is fantastic. And it has, uh, it's definitely opened the door for me. I, I had kind of sort of looked at, uh, oh, I want to take it off the base too, but I don't, so I want to leave it. Yeah, definitely, definitely beautiful. Um, I had looked at a few, um, you know, like I said, I bought that, um, I bought that Tarmac, uh, Sylvia, um, I bought something else, I can't remember what, um, you know, but I hadn't really stepped out into the, uh, the premium, uh, 164s, and Derek has really been influential in that, um, my wallet isn't happy about that, because you're talking about, you know, $20 plus pieces, um versus you know hot wheels matchbox are a dollar you know the the premium stuff this stuff's you know five six seven bucks um you know and you get into your if you buy supers and stuff like that you know you're looking at 20 or 30 or 40 plus dollars um you know but i just think this is just a it's just a better quality um you know and, and i'm if if i can only buy one of these and not buy 20 Hot Wheels, I think I'd be okay with that. I do, I, I think, I think I'd be, I would not, I would not be mad about that. Um, moving on, again, I, I know what this is. Um, I was told that this was gonna be coming, but I've not seen it. Does it say? It does not. Let's see if you can guess. Any guesses? Any guesses? It's definitely Kaido House. It's definitely Mini GT. It is a Datsun. Excuse me. Pardon me. It is Kaido House Datsun Fairly Z Motul Livery V3. This thing is nice. Let's see there again. These boxes, man, this packaging is just so much better. So much better. I, I hate that they don't have their own cases. I love that they're, I mean, this thing is in there. Come okay, on, there it goes. But those, the inno case is nice. Those cases are nice. And again... The oil slick base. Ooh, sheesh, that is nice. The 
hood open, maybe. Ah, come on. It's like the old school Dodson's. It should open. I'm afraid I don't want to use a blade. Nope, I don't know if I can get it open. It was going. Yep, I had it going. There it goes. There it goes. Nope. There she goes. Love it. Love the reverse hood. Look at that. Again, no focus. Sorry. Love. Love the reverse opening hood. Fender mirrors. Yeah, they're a little rubbery. So yeah, it's a Kaido thing, but I get it. You know, if you bump it, it's not going to snap off. I get it. Love that Advan tires. How's it roll? Nice, nice. Roll cage. Red seats. Right hand drive. Motul and Advan liveries. It's got the sort of the straight shoot exhaust. Which because it's definitely not like the Bozo Zuko style, but it's just got that sort of like straight out, you know, no Fs given kind of exhaust. And that is definitely that's definitely a show off piece. Look at that. So you can see through the base into the engine bay. Love that. And just the different colors in there. Like, look at that yellow down in there. Fantastic. Love it. And even the hood, it doesn't, it doesn't just pop up. It, like, you have to, you have to, like, lower it. You have to drop it down, and, like, to get it back open again. It doesn't just flip up. You have to, like, pop it up and then lift it up. I love that it does it like it sets down in there like the real hood does. They don't just flip up. You have to kind of like prop the front and then lift it up. Love that. This is fantastic. Derek, thank you. This is, oh, this is so much better. Yeah. And minimalist. I love this. Just 1971 Nissan Fair Lady. Love it. Beautiful. I wish the focus was there. I really do. The detail is just great. The livery is the only thing. Well, I don't know. The, I don't know that that maybe stickers. It's probably it's all painted. It's it's clear coated over. You know the lights. The lights are there. They're they're plastic. There's no you know painted lights. Fantastic. Definitely, definitely finding display cases for those. I mean, that that still kind of works. You know, I mean, you, you can still get a good view of that. And even with the cover on, I mean, that does work. But it, it needs, you know, it needs something this level. You know, you need that, that needs to be seen. That is great. Fantastic. All right, all right. Now, number three. I don't, I don't know what this is, and oh, it's probably an R thirty four. Knowing Derek, he knows I hate thirty fours. I don't hate them. I just, I prefer the thirty threes over the thirty fours. Probably almost prefer the thirty twos over the thirty fours. Don't get me started on thirty fives either. They look okay. I'm just not a fan of them. Alright, what is this? This is Cattle House Nissan Fair Lazy GT 95 Drifter. Okay. So it's another Fair Lady. The Drifter. Get 
mind you, like I said, I have no idea that this was coming. Well, I knew something additional was coming, but I didn't know what. Look at that. Beautiful. Again, with that base, man, I, I can't with that. I love that. And again with the detail, see the see the yellow in there just a little bit. Love the I love the stretcher. I mean it I don't know if it'll pick it up, but you can kinda they try to stretch it. It looks like a stretch. I love the way that looks. And those wide, look at those wide that arrow, those side skirts. Again with the exhaust, the big duck bill, the single mirror, wherever guy. Try to open the hood on this one. See if I can get this one on my own this time. Mm, maybe not. Yeah, maybe. Ah, come on. There's probably some trick to it that I don't know. I think once you get it open, they're okay. Starting to get them open is the hard part. Yeah. I know somebody somewhere is like, oh my god. Fear not. Being very careful. Yeah, I don't know. I would have better get that one open. Yeah. Well, we'll get it open eventually. <laughs> Somebody be like, it doesn't open. The detail is just fantastic. I almost want to actually I want to compare the two. That was probably the plan. Derek's like, open them both. Compare the two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't notice it on the white one. It's also got the it's also got the, the big side skirts, the white side skirts. So yes. Same casting, same everything. Just a few minor differences. The uh the rear end on the Mo tool doesn't say Dodson, but it does on the on just the Kaido when it says Dodson. There you go. Can I see it says Dodson? Where's that Mo tool? It does not. And I even look at that. Look at the the space, the cutout for the exhaust. I mean, it just it. Uh, can with that detail, man. Little stuff like that. On, um, I mean, in Hot Wheels, even with Super Treasure Hunts, that kind of is just unheard of. You just don't get detail like that, or attention to detail like that. Uh, I really want to open the hood. No, it's trying to pop. I wonder if I can push through the underside. Hey, look at that. Maybe that's what the holes there for, so you can push through. Oh, that one's blue. And again, I know you can't see, but take my word for it. The engine says Kaido House. It's a really nice blue color. Very nice, very nice. Love that detail. And like that, just like the engine bits. Like, look at. Let's see if it'll still pick it up again. Probably not. Just the attention to detail over here. Like this little guy. It's probably a, 
like a master cylinder or a brake reservoir. I just, I love that. The attention to that kind of detail. It's beautiful. Love it. Again, Derek, thank you. Thank you so much. This is fantastic. I almost want to leave the hoods open <laughs> so I don't have to mess with it later. That is beautiful. I wonder if I actually, I probably can get away with just leaving the hood open. It's probably what I'll do just so that I don't have to mess with it later if it'll let me. Maybe. A little bit. Maybe not. Nope, you can't. Gotta close the hood. Close it most of the way. Nope, all the way. All right, fine. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fantastic. Kaido House. Kaido House. You know, 64. Beautiful pieces. Beautiful pieces. I love... Thank you, Derek, for that one. That's a great piece. I love that Motul. That Motul is fantastic. This. This is my winner of the day. That is beautiful. And I'm, I'm already looking. I'm already looking. He already knows. I'm already looking at... Um, I've got... Uh, I don't think it's a Shuko, it's just a, um, I think it's a Tarmax Mini GT, it's a Acid Green uh, 911 GT3 RS. Um, there's like that neon yellow, I don't know what the color for it is, um, I won't say what I call it, but it's definitely like a, uh, like a neon lemonade um, Silverado that's, that's either out or coming out. Um, I'm looking, I'm looking at a few of them. Um, the, and like the Shuko models, ooh, man. There was a, a 143 scale, um, like all carbon um, Porsche, $380. Uh, I'm not going down that road, but I can definitely stick to the 20 or $30 pieces for sure. But um, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Um, again, big shout out to Derek at Honest Diecast. Dude, blowing me away with this. This is, I told you, man, this is, I'm going to be, I'm going to be hung over on this for a minute, man. Um, for sure. Um, I got to find a space to put that stuff and now I got to find display cases for those Kaidos. Um, that's going to be it for me, guys. Um, not really much going on. I don't know what, if anything, um, there's always fines. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to work on getting better videos um, of hunting and stuff, but you never know. And I the last thing I want to do is drop a of you know a, a long video from the month or two months of me not finding much. So um, we'll do what we can when we can. Who knows? Um, with that being said, though, again appreciate it. Um, be sure to like. Be sure to. Subscribe, comment, you know, drop me a line, um, say hi, let me know, let me know how I'm doing, let me know what you like. Um, I will, uh, I got one more trunk, um, it's my last one, I don't know when or how soon I'll be doing one of those, I got some other stuff going on, um, we'll see, I'll try to work on getting that done so that I can uh, get that space cleared up and get some other stuff moving, but uh, in the meantime... Take care, guys, and uh, we'll see you next time. And remember, it's always a good day to diecast. See you guys.